Google Cloud infrastructure modernization includes many of the core technologies and fundamental features of Google Cloud Platform. In this short video, we will cover at a high level many of the core concepts required to build new applications and services, specifically around organizations and security. A GCP project can logically group Google Cloud resources. A project consists of users, APIs, billing information, authentication and monitoring, all resources, configuration settings and any permissions associated with them will also reside within the project. A GCP organization is an optional feature that can be used centrally to manage other GCP resources. You can create GCP folders and GCP projects underneath an organization to manage company-wide policies, restrictions, and distributed firewall rules. A GCP folder can be used to group projects under the organization in a hierarchy. For example, your organization resource might contain multiple departments or projects, each with its own set of Google Cloud resources. Folders allow you to group these resources on a per-department or per-project basis. Permissions can be used to determine who can or can't perform a particular action on a particular resource. Basic permissions can be used to grant broad access to resources, but predefined permissions or custom permissions are preferred over basic permissions as they are able to provide finer, more granular control. A GCP billing ID consists of a cloud billing account and an associated payments profile. The cloud billing account defines who will pay for a given set of resources and in what currency, and the payment profile contains any legal information, tax information, and at least one payment method. Quotas are used to protect GCP users from unforeseen or accidental spikes in usage that could increase costs. Quotas can be used to manage the rate at which requests are being made, the total amount of a particular resource currently in use, or the total number of concurrent operations being performed on a resource. Basic support is included for all customers and provides access to documentation, community support, billing support, and active assist recommendations. Standard support is designed for development workloads, with enhanced and premium support designed for production workloads. Customers may also add technical account managers and mission-critical support if required. Google Cloud has a free technical onboarding and cloud foundations program. Google has various ways to onboard customers, set up organizational policies and controls, and create landing zones for new products and services or migrations from other platforms. Cloud Identity is an Identity as a Service IDAAS solution that centrally manages users and groups. Cloud Identity can also federate identities from other providers, such as Active Directory and Azure Entra ID. You can then use Identity and Access Management IAM, to manage access to Google Cloud resources. With IAM, you manage access control by defining who has what access for which resource. IAM lets you grant granular access to specific Google Cloud resources and helps prevent access to other resources. IAM lets you adopt the security principle of least privilege, which states that nobody should have more permissions than they actually need.